Hello, South Korea. Uh, I just want to apologize for what I've done, and I really did not mean to hurt your guys' pride this much. You guys are a good people. You guys are a great people. And for the most part, other than Mr. Navy SEAL here, <laughs> I've had a great experience with a lot of the South Korean people, and it was not my intention to really hurt you guys, and I hope you guys can accept my apology. And I'm a young person. I want to grow as a man. Uh, I made a mistake, and I think um, when you make a mistake in life, you need to um, own up to it. This is, we, we are Bucky Jones. Let me dance with y'all niggas. Oh shit. Oh, these niggas mad as hell. <laughs> Get over here. Get over here. Or what? Okay. Okay. Come on, BTS niggas. Let's do a standoff. Bye bye. Let's do a standoff, BTS niggas. Bye bye. Oh my god. I don't you better back up. You better back you better back your I don't give a fuck. Back your ass up. Listen. This is why China is gonna destroy you niggas. Shout out North Korea niggas. It's not North You got to back up. You better back up. What you going to do? You're not America. You're not going to do nothing to me. You're not in America. What you going to do to me? You're not in America. I don't Hi guys. How are you all doing? Guys, I want to talk about this an issue that has been trending. I mean, the class. And then uh, I don't have strength to walk around. Is it that I don't have strength or I am mentally exhausted, guys? I am mental exhausted. China is not what I think, but we'll talk about that later. There's this black guy who has been causing nuisance on all social media. And um, the reason why he has been trending is because of what he did in Korea. So Sonny Somali is a Ethiopian and Somalian born American. Like he's father is Ethiopian and his mother is Somalian and he was born in America. He have these massive followers on YouTube and TikTok. He's a very controversial person who go around um, like traveling but each and every time he travel he always cause nuisance. So last year or early this year he went to Japan and disrespected Japan, Japanese culture, did a lot of nonsense in Japan. And um, he trended like very, very well because of what he did in Japan. And he was kicked out of Japan. Then later he traveled to South Korea. The one he did in South Korea is something that really got everybody upset. So when he went to South Korea, he still continued with his um, bad behavior, disrespecting Koreans. Um, dancing in women's statues. You know, South Korea experienced a lot of tragedy in their history during Japanese uh, colony. A lot of women were acid, a lot of women were killed. There's, there was a lot of things, like go and search it up if you don't know about the history. And so they built a monument and to respect that. He went there dancing in that uh, statues, doing some sedra move and also pouring uh, oil on his body and it's not like he did not know that that kind of incident happened or he did not know that, that that thing is a monument as he was dancing he was talking about Japan and what Japan did to Korea and be like he don't like Japan there was also a video of him where he was um, in a restaurant and it's like he ordered something right he ordered ramen and they brought the ramen for him he poured and the ramen on the table because according to him they did not serve him well he did a lot of nonsense in south korea and every time he's doing that he's recording himself and post it posting it on social media and this sparked a lot of controversy on social media and also got a lot of koreans angry so a lot of young koreans now started looking for him there was a time he was on live um like broadcasting live on the street of uh, south korea they now some young guys of South Koreans now went to meet him and beat him up. To my own surprise, he has a Korean guy, a Korean American guy with him who take him around. 
he also is also guilty of that and also another black guy when they were fighting police came and arrest him after arresting him they detained him and said that he will not leave south korea until the south korean government make decision on his matter so according to the last news i heard about the whole issue they say that he stand the chance of facing 10 years in prison in the jail of south korea and also they asked him to apologize and he apologized the same apology that he made during the time of uh, japan during when the time when he was in japan the same kind of apology he made in in south korea hopefully after this time he will not go around disrespecting asian countries again currently he has apologized to south korean society and um they say that the police will make decision whether he's going to prison for what he did but if he's facing uh, jail terms in south korea that means it will be like uh, 10 years in prison in south korea so that is it and uh, there has been a lot of videos like this on social media there is this video another kind of video i watch on on japanese railway where a lot of black guys like three black guys they were dancing in japanese subway doing flip up and other things this brought me to the point where i'm telling i'm telling you guys when i say in the in the video i made in my other channel where i say black people can be racist too i think at this point we as black people who like we need to accept that we are not perfect when we are, when we are talking about racism and disrespecting people because we are not the only people who uh, receive that sometimes we are also the people who dish it out especially when it comes to asia i feel like something a black person can do to asian person they will may think twice before doing it to a white person because i believe that there's a lot of things he did in that place i don't think he'll do that in in western country so i don't know but i just want you guys to know that black people sometimes can also dish out racism I think when we are talking about racism, we should make it like a global thing instead of making it as if we are the only people that receive it, right? This is the kind of the comment I left in my other video because a lot of people were upset like hey, you think you are the only people that receive racism that um, black people also dish out racism. Yes, I know that. When we talk about racism, a lot of people feel like black people are the only people who receive racism. But guys, a lot of times black people are also at the giving end. We give out a lot. We dish out a lot. And um, when we are talking about a, a lot of these Asian countries that have their own separate social media, a lot of times they also spread a lot of news about black people, where black people are doing those kind of things to Asian people. So that will also lead to the way they treat like they see black people so example here in china they have their own social media and one day there's this um chinese guy and i used to talk to him a lot and um he's on the ring so one day he sent me long list of videos of what is um what chinese people are posting on the ring about black people and it is about um anti anti chinese uh, hate in the u.s anti asian hate where um and black people are beating um the chinese up this one that he showed me that i have seen that really kind of made me tear up because this guy did not do anything and they were hitting him i don't know you know that time that 2019 i saw that video then and i don't know that that video is still reserved somewhere so um these black guys were hitting this chinese guy that did not do anything the man couldn't even fight back they were just hitting him and he was bleeding so all those kind of videos are also still on their social media and that also can like um like help make them build up the narrative that black people are bad and in the comment section of the first video this is part two of racism right the first the, uh, the, the first video i made under the comment section some people were dragging each other that white people also and um, beat up chinese people but you cannot go out disrespecting people and be like okay white people are doing it because at the end of the day things that a black man do will always be taken seriously than things that a white person do just looking at black people some people have concluded have some narrative right so you going to do something because you think that white people are doing it and they are taking they are getting past uh with that will also harm you as a as a black person so do not go out disrespecting people 
hitting people, insulting people, and doing anti-Asian, Asian hate, and anti-Chinese hate, believing that black, yes, white people do that too. I'm also saying this because when, um, American, <laughs> like American uh, um, gangster president, gangster <laughs> have resumed work again, and there has been a lot of anti-Asian, like, the, within the, the the little time of Trump being the president of America, there has been a lot of anti Asian hate like going on again. I wish black people would not participate in this because at the end of the day, um, the one that the black people do will always be loud and nobody will talk about white people. I have seen a lot of people uh, posting videos, a lot of Asians posting videos. There's this Vietnamese woman that has since got destroyed. So as people go on on Asian hate, I wish black people would will not get involved. I wish you guys would not get involved. Black people in America do not get involved in anti Asian hate. So guys, I want to know your opinion in the comment section. A lot of people are saying that Johnny Somalia is a disgrace to black people and all that. I feel like we are just making it a, a Johnny Somali thing. But at the end of the day, it is like this is a room for us to educate ourselves as people, as black people, and understand that we are not the only people at the receiving end of racism. Sometimes we are also at the giving end of racism. Like, I always believe that racism is a behavioral thing instead of a, a, a race thing because at the end of the day, a lot of things that have been done to me here as a, chi as a black person in China or things I have not, 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 never even experienced here, as a, a black person in China, I have experienced it back home as an Igbo person in a Yoruba land. There was a time I wanted to go and rent house, and this this man said he will not give me house because I come from a particular tribe. So it is thin. But when it is done to you by another somebody that does not look like you, it becomes a racial thing. But then a lot of things that has been done to black people, black people are doing it to themselves. Example, a lot of black people are beheading other black people in Congo to steal mineral resources and give to a white give to white people. Yeah, people are beheading each other in Africa. A lot of African nations are killing each other just because they want to please white people. So at the end of the day, we should just educate ourselves and know that racism is not like a race thing is a behavioral thing so that is it i want to pause this video now and i hope it will not be too long i want to know your opinion in the comment section i have met good people who are not a uh, black people i have met good white people i have met good asian people i have met bad asian people i have met bad white people everything is not just like a race thing so guys i want to know what you think about this what what do you think about this whole thing i just want to use john Johnny some Somali thing to just bring out this topic because I've I probably said lots of people that I'll do the part two of that video that I did, but then again, a lot is happening back door, to, guys. A lot is happening to me back door. The, the 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 one of the thing that I'm still like struggling to digest or accept is that. Things are things are not the way I plan. Like things are not working the way I plan it. My YouTube channel is not working the way I plan it. And guys, let me just forget. Like let me not get into deep into that. But guys, I am heartbroken. I am not happy. I am stressed out. I'm fighting to hold on. But guys. I want to know what you think about this in the comment section. How do you feel about what Johnny Somali did? The thing I like the most is that these people are not playing, playing racism card. Even where we know that a lot of things he did, he did it because he feel like he can do it because this is a young country. A lot of people do not make it a race thing. But um, if it is done to black nation, if it is a, a, an Asian person that went to African country to do it now, it will be tagged and a race thing. But guys, um, I want to know what you think in the comment section. That guy, that guy, they deserve to take camera away from him. I mean, like some people, they deserve to take camera away from some people because when some people hold camera, they can do anything for clout. I feel like uh, part of the reason why he's doing that is also to like clout chase and be able to raise a lot of views. Guys, my breath is 
quenching. I always feel like a lot of people um feel like traveling across the world is just taking your bag, going to a country with the aim of bagging views and uh, making a lot of money. And when you get there, you can do anything to uh, to get views. So, like, I'm just speaking this whole thing, like this Somali, journey Somali thing on, like, more of a general level because we have also seen a lot of these things coming from, like, this kind of similar behavior from people who are not black. But then again, I have never seen something this severe. I have never seen somebody that disrespects people the way some journey Somali did. And um, it is sad that this person is a black person and... I feel like a, a people, some people don't deserve to be like travel traveling in people, a lot of countries, like travel vloggers, because at the end of the day, a lot of people use because of views and content to do a lot of shit. Because I do not see the reason why you will be disrespecting people and filming it and have the audacity, the effrontery to post it on social media. And people, some people will like that that video. That shows how shitty some people are. But guys, I want to know what you think in the comment section. There's a lot of code. The code in China. The code in China. <laughs> it's COVID. <laughs> if hungry don't kill me in China, make code no go kill me. <laughs> guys, I'll let you go.